Masterpiece Women. I hope you're doing wonderful today. I'm so excited to be with you. My name is Tina Rains, for those of you who don't know me, who are just joining our podcast. And I'm the founder and leader of the Masterpiece Women community and events and podcasts. So super excited. A little bit about me. I'm a mom of seven, four biological, three um bonus children. We have seven grandkids together and I'm a nurse by profession. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm passionate about sharing the gospel with the marketplace and people really understanding their value and their their worth. And that's my heartbeat. Ephesians 2.10 is my scripture. So um, it's all about you understanding that you are a masterpiece and that the only way to really understand that is being renewed in Christ. And then giving you tools to go do what God called you to do so long ago. He planned it for you. It's already planned for you. And so today, actually, I was was digging in the word and I thought, you know, there's somebody out there that needs to really understand how valuable they are and really the the timeless wisdom. There's so much wisdom in the Bible. So oftentimes people tell me, Tina, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know how to manage that. I don't know how to do this. I'm like, Go to the Bible. I promise you everything you need to succeed is in the Bible. Every day, do Proverbs. Every day, do um, scripture. And so today, I wanted to talk a little bit about Ephesians 1. As I was really studying there, thinking about this, thinking about the fact that our identity, our identity really, when you think about our identity, Our identity, in order to sell online, in order to do anything in business or life in general, we have to understand that our identity is in Christ. And as I was reading, I if you don't have it, I encourage you. I'm probably the biggest fan of seller of the Don Maxwell leadership. Uh, One of my friends, Elizabeth, gave me a new one. Mine was so worn out. I started using it. So I'm super excited about um, having it. And so as I was digging into and thinking about the impact of understanding our true identity and how it shapes the way we influence the world. How are you influencing the world? I want you to just ponder that for a minute. How are you influencing the world? Do you feel like you're making a difference? Do you feel like people are being transformed around you because they see Jesus in you because you what you're doing is impacting their lives. If you think about in Ephesians 1, I really encourage you to go read it. The it's a incredible message about identity, about purpose, about influence, because it really emphasizes that our identity is so deeply rooted in our connection to Jesus and our connection to the Lord. That's really where identity is rooted in and speaks about. We are chosen. I am chosen. Say it, girls. I am chosen. I am adopted. I am accepted. So I really, I want to read these scriptures with you. If you're driving, just, I want you to just meditate on this scripture for a minute and keep on driving. Be careful out there, but let's explore really um, the influence that naturally that you see here. I'm going to put my little glasses on here because So in Ephesians, and I am reading, this is the New King James Version. So in 1 Ephesians, Paul the Apostle, Jesus Christ, the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and faithful in Jesus Christ, in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from our God, Father, and Lord Jesus Christ. So let's start with verse 3, the really pay attention, redemption in Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Just as he chose us, as he chose us. Think about that. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined, hear that word, ladies, having predestined, us to adoption as sons or daughters by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, 
to the praise of glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Think about that for a minute, ladies. He chose us. He predestined us. We were adopted before we ever existed. In you know, the Bible, there's so many places where the Lord speaks of, he knew every hair on our head. He knew us before we were conceived. Over and over and over, he tells us we are chosen. We are his masterpiece. We are his workmanship. We are created by him. And so when you think about that and you think about the amazing truth that really it suggests that our, our influence is not accidental, but very intentional. He intentionally, intentionally designed us with a purpose. And when we really understand that we were designed with a purpose and we're designed with an identity and we're designed and adopted by him, what happens? We have to ask ourselves for what? Do you know for what? If you don't, I want to encourage you to, to reach out to me. I would love to talk to you a little bit about that. We have some great coaches. Jackie Davy does a great program that we're about to start. I have the book here. It's all on purpose. We're starting it today. As a matter of fact, it's going to go on for multiple weeks, but she does them quite frequently. But there's a lot of great coaches I can connect you to. I'm happy to just pour into you. We're restructuring how we're doing some of Masterpiece. And my heart is just to pour into you as much as possible over 2024 with the word of God, with tools that can help you succeed in whatever area you are struggling in. Some of you are struggling with parenting. Some of you are struggling with finances. Some of you are struggling with marriage. Some of you are struggling with building your business. There's so many people that I've been speaking with that are struggling in different areas. And so we're going to dig deep into who we are this year and really th think, talk, discuss, ponder how we can live from that place of truly being in the purpose, walking in the, walking out our purpose like never before, because we have a plan on this earth. And that's all about bringing positive change, all about making disciples. The Bible says make disciples. And in order to do so, we have to keep in that place and understand our power of our identity. Our power is in our identity. Our power comes from Jesus Christ. Our power and influence comes from our Lord. And if we, if we own our power, if we own who we are and we understand how valuable we are. We understand the truth of what God says that he's adopted us. He created us with a plan and a purpose. Then we will achieve whatever it is that God's called us to do because we stay in our purpose. We stay in that calling and we stay in that lane. I can tell you ladies over the last um, year or two, I know that masterpiece women was a calling. If truth be told, I almost wanted to give up on it because it wasn't growing the way I wanted it to. It wasn't um, achieving what in my mind it should achieve. And even as I prayed and asked the Lord, what do you want it to achieve? I just really was getting discouraged. And I hear that over and over and over with ministries that they get discouraged because some people don't see the value. And the Lord all year in 2023 said to me, Tina, it's about the one. It's about the one. It's about the one. And I'm like, what does that mean, Lord? What does that mean? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to pour more mentor, more one-on-one -on -one with individuals? Do you want me to support individuals more? Do you want me to not have the big events? And there's a couple of times that I just hop on a call on a coaching call with one of our masterpiece women and help them with whatever business they're building or what have you. And I could just see God all over it. And so our retreat came in November, ladies, and there we had one person saved and we had many people delivered from bondages that the enemy was just holding on to them with a tight grip where they weren't walking in their full purpose or their full, you know, their identity in Christ. They still were being held back by the lies of the enemy. And sister, if you feel like you are struggling with that, please get in the word every day, write the truths. 
there's so many places. Reach out to me. Send me an email at trains at tinarains.com. Super easy to remember. T Rains Trains. Think about trains at tinarains.com. And Rains is R A I N S. Shoot me an email. I'll send you some positive affirmations that are all scriptural because this is the thing. There's so much beauty in the fact that when you know that God not, not only created you for a purpose and a plan, your identity is in him. You were adopted by him. You were chosen by him. When you start putting the truths of God into your mind, every time a lie comes now, and I'm not perfect, I still fail and I'll still get irritated. I'll still get offended. But even when people don't treat you justly, and you would normally get offended because you don't want to, you don't want to be offendable. We need to be unoffendable. The only way to be unoffendable is to have that truth of God. And the minute we feel ourselves react, put the truth. And when I'm digging deep in the word every day, and I'm really intentional to spend time with the Lord, to hear from him, to feel strong, to feel just empowered by him is when I'm really intentional about my time with him. And when I'm not, I'm so much more offendable. I'm, it's so much more difficult to fight the lies because when I'm in the word of God and the truth on a daily basis, and not that I don't read my Bible every day, not that I don't read, the, but oftentimes there's a difference between really being in it and sensing his presence and waiting for his presence and waiting to hear from him versus, okay, I'm checking my list. My check off of, I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to pray. Okay, check, check, done. No, he wants us to be in that intimacy. We Our retreat last year was all about abiding in him. And we talked about abiding, abiding. You bear much fruit when you abide. We want to bear much fruit on this planet. And so I'm speaking to myself as well. Of I refuse to allow myself in 2024 to get too busy doing things, building a business. I'm so incredibly excited about this business. God has put me um, in this platform of building this business around the world. We're about to go in 27 countries. It's a huge blessing for me. And two of the women, the one woman that got saved at our Masterpiece Women Retreat came from the company that the Lord called me to help launch. Think about that, ladies, how our calling and when God calls us to something and for me, I was like, um, that you're calling me to do what Lord multi-level marketing. That's not my gig. Like I tried it a couple of times. I felt very spammy, very cheap. I didn't want to do it. I've changed my mindset. And with this business, I recognize I have such an opportunity to impact the marketplace for Christ. We're going international and I've won a couple of really great trips too. I'm going to Thailand next year, uh, next month. I mean, you know, and there's so many benefits from it, from that perspective. But let me tell you that just about the one, think about that, ladies, my calling and my passion and the ministry he called me to do overlapped. Somebody from my company that I didn't even know signed up because they heard about it through our company. And what happened? She got saved. It's about the one. Don't overlook what God's calling you to do. And even when you don't understand it, if you're really understanding that you are in his identity and that you are valuable and you are his masterpiece, then it changes your mindset and it changes how you walk out your life. I, I think about Tony Robbins, to Tony Robbins, you know, everybody knows Tony Robbins. He's a big mindset guru, right? If you look at so many of these different mindset programs, what not Tony Robbins specific, but any of them, like I'm reading right now, the, um, I just finished and it's, I have to highly recommend it. And it's not a Christian book, but it is so empowering is the secrets of the millionaire mind and realizing my mindset was not as large as it should be. And there's some areas that he'll say things. They'll say the universe. And I say, Jesus Christ, because I know my strength comes from Jesus Christ. I know that I'm chosen. I know that I am his, that he has a plan for me and my limitations are gone. I see myself where the Lord sees me. I see myself speaking to thousands and thousands of people and sharing him and sharing how to build business and making huge amounts of money in order to impact the kingdom of God. Because ladies, 
He needs us to be influential on this planet right now. People need to know their value. They need to know they're loved by Jesus. They need to know that he is the one way to get to heaven. He is the one way to have freedom ultimately. And so anyway, I was thinking about Tony Robbins and some of these other coaches. And Tony Robbins says, the only limit to your impact is your imagination and your commitment. And you think about that, your imagination. How easy is it? For you to imagine, as a matter of fact, most leaders and I'm every day doing personal growth reading and they all say the same thing. If you don't understand your value and your mindset isn't in the right place, it's really hard to have any imagination and let alone commitment because the first no you get, you're out of there. The first negative response, you're out of there and it's just too hard and you're complaining and you're criticizing. I want to encourage you today, ladies, if you're being critical, if you're complaining, if you are feeling insecure, if you are negative or you are blaming others, you got to check your spirit. You got to check where are you with the Lord? That is not where he wants us. He wants us to be in such a positive place in our identity, understand how valuable we are so that we can have greater influence. So we can make a larger impact in the in the planet. My heart and where he's called me is to the marketplace. That's where he has built my influence. And I am trusting him for great things in that. And I would love to help each of you do the same. And this year, my goal is to really help impact the women of Masterpiece Women to greater levels. And so I'm partnering with a lot of great coaches because I don't have capacity myself to be able to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I'm partnering with a lot of women who are like, I believe in the mission of Masterpiece and I'd like to serve the women. So if you need a coach to help you navigate through it, let me know, I will connect you. So I've been so busy with doing my own coaching because I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one with the people on my team because to build business, you've got to have a good mindset. And so um, I'm spending most of my energy doing that and then our incredible events. And if you haven't registered for February 3rd, you do not want to miss it. The best program I've ever been to in my entire life, truly, and I've been to so many of them, has been Gonzalo Zubieta because he's so anointed and he is so just understands the way the brain works, the way the heart works, the way the mind works and all of it combined. If you're struggling in your relationship with your spouse, your kids, your team at work, having any struggle, or you just want to get better, really serving people better, I'm going to encourage you today to join us February 3rd. We are going to have an online version. So if you haven't registered and you're local, you don't want to miss it. Come join us. Highlight your, your business. If you're listening to this podcast, I'm going to give you a 50% discount on your registration. Just um, look at the link below and you'll be able to register for 50% off. So make sure that you do that. So I just encourage you today, ladies, to really, really focus on your identity and focus on the fact that you are chosen. That, um, you know, when we look at, even, you know, when you're looking at John Maxwell, he's he has all his 21 laws of leadership, right? The law of connection, empowerment precedes imperative because Paul believes he needs to give before he asks. He reminds us of our choice position in Christ. We are chosen. We are predestined. We are accepted. We are redeemed. We are informed. We are heirs and we are sealed. He declares that God has done for us before demanding we do anything for him. Do you hear that? My sister, God has done for us before demanding that we do anything for us. He did it all for us. He's not saying, hey, come do for me and then I'll do for you. He's like, I've already done it for you. I've already done it for you. And then the law of empowerment, influence flows from identity. Paul prays that God will reveal to his readers the riches of their inheritance, the hope, the calling, the glory, the power. Then he reminds them that they are Christ's body. Power, influence, and confidence all come from a strong sense of identity. Are you secure in your identity? Does your influence reflect this strength? 
Does your influence reflect your strength? One of my favorite speak speakers, um, because I'm very passionate about vulnerability, is Brene Brown. Like, I believe that us sharing our stories impacts the world in great ways. I can tell you all the successes I've had, and I could tell you the millions of dollars I've made, and I don't think that's going to impact you at all, honestly. Just, the, oh, that's great. If she can do it, she comes from poverty, she comes from reviews, and she still made, you know, as a success story. Maybe that would encourage you if you you know, grew up in abuse and you grew up in sexual abuse and pain and all that goes with that, right? But what I have found is it's not my successes that encourage people. What encourages people is me sharing my failures and my pain because it gives them permission to also share. So vulnerability is a big thing for me. And when you think about the fact that I'm already chosen, I'm already, God already says, this is who I am, then being vulnerable is a powerful tool. And she says this quote, vulnerability is not winning or losing. It's having the courage to show up and be seen when we have no control over the outcome. So think about that. When you know where your identity is and you're embracing your identity, that allows us to be vulnerable, it allows us to show up authentically. And when we do that, ladies, it increases our influence. It influences others to do the same and it helps them to be free. So it's a beautiful thing when we think about the influence that we have on others and how our stories matter. So if you have a story where you've overcome something and you believe that God wants you to share it, reach out to me. I would love to hear your story. I would love to um, consider having you on the podcast. It's not hard to do. You just talk. And you know me, I like to talk. We just like we're having coffee. We sit, we have coffee on the, on the um, computer and we have a podcast. And so it's not complicated. It's not intimidating. So I encourage you to share your story. Get on social media, share your story. I can't tell you how many people reach out to me and say, Tina, I had no idea you went through that. And when you share that, it made me realize that I've been stuck there in that pain from my past and I, it's time to let go. It's, there's been so many stories like that. Um, and when you think about Ephesians 1 specifically, it speaks about the inheritance we have in our identity. It's a reminder that what we carry something valuable with us. We have our identity and we are so valuable. And when you understand that, it just transforms the way we approach life. It transforms the way we approach people. It transforms the way we share our vulnerabilities, transforms the people around us because we're willing to, to do that. And so continuing on in one, when you look at verse 11 and 12, in him also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him. We are predestined according to his purpose. We were put here for a purpose and a plan who works all things according to the counsel of his will that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory in him. You are also trusted after you heard the word of the truth, the gospel of your salvation in whom also having believed you were sealed with the Holy spirit of promise. Who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. Hmm. Hmm. So what does that say to you, sister? What does it say? It says our influence then becomes a reflection of the praise of his glory. As we recognize our worth, as we just naturally become conduits of the positive things of the Lord, we become that natural positive conduit of change, of positive impact, of com contributing to a world that is in need of hope in Jesus we become that contributing factor, one of them. And we all as ladies 
of masterpiece women should be conduits of that hope. People need to know they have a hope. They need to know they have a future. They need to know that God is with them, that they are chosen. So today we explored a little bit how influence flows from identity. And I encourage you, go back and read Ephesians 1. There's so much richness in the Ephesians. I love this book. It's one of my favorite, favorite books in the Bible. Um, and remember, though, that your influence is not about what you do, but really who you are. If you want to have greater influence, get closer to the Lord. If you want to have greater impact on the world, get closer to the Lord. The more you draw close to him, the more you're going to hear him so clearly of those next steps. And so it doesn't, it doesn't mean as we read in Ephesians, it doesn't mean that when I do these things, when I read my Bible, when I pray to him, I'm going to be, I'm going to be predestined. I'm going to get the inheritance. No, he says he already did all that. He already did all that. You've already got it. You don't have to do anything to receive it. It's really, how do you know which direction to take to implement that plan, to implement your purpose? That's really the benefit of being in the word every day is having the strength. Ephesians 6 talks about putting on the armor every day because we are in a battle, ladies. We have to go into battle against the enemy. He is trying to kill, steal, and destroy our families, our purpose our businesses. He's out there like praying on us. You have to come after it from that angle of no, get behind me, enemy. I'll never forget one of the speakers said, and I repeat this a couple of times, shut up, enemy. Like just shut up. No, this is what the truth says about me. Do it whatever works for you, but do it. Fight him. Fight him with the truth of God. Put this in your mind and your heart on a daily basis because you have to renew your mind you have to hold those thoughts captive and if you aren't putting the word of god and praying every day and staying in that relationship with him and i'm going to tell you if you're looking to be successful in business as a whole first thing i would do if i were you is to grab your bible dig deep with the lord and just spend some really great quality time with him because he will guide you. He will open doors for you like no one else could do for you. Guys, we have Ray Higdon. The guy gets thirty to $50,000 to speak. He is a huge, huge international speaker. Gonzalo Zubieta, same. The vice president of Walmart. We have three of the best speakers in the nation coming to our one-day conference in South Florida. Only God could open those doors, not Tina. I have nothing to do with that. It's all God. He connected those dots. He can do the same for you. Come to our conference because I promise you, you're going to gain such wisdom, such value, like you've never been to any other conference. I promise you that. I will give you a money back guarantee if you do not have some massive changes in your life coming to the conference on February 3rd. It is the it's going to be an incredible, powerful time. So I hope that if you enjoyed this, that you'll subscribe to our podcast, that you'll go to YouTube, subscribe to our channel there as well, and um, join us for our events. Jesus loves you and so do I. And just know you are so valuable. You are so loved and you are treasured by the Lord. So have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Masterpiece Women Podcast. God bless you guys.